Scratch, you've definitely heard of it before. But if you didn't, Scratch is a web where you can create games and share those games and skip it to toilet. Scratch is generally really easy to understand and really easy to use. Now, if you have watched any of my videos, you would know that I make games in something called Roblox Studio, which is quite the polar opposite of Scratch. I mean, this is coding in Scratch versus coding in Roblox Studio. It's completely different. So, I thought it would be a fun idea to try Scratch for once. So, I could log in. So, I started off by creating an account. I'm officially logged in as- Oh, I can change my profile, hold on. About me. Um... That seems good. We're in Scratch. Alright, what do we do now? In order to actually learn Scratch, I decided to create literally the easiest game ever created. Which was Pong. If you don't know what Pong is, basically you have this ball that bounces around the screen. And you have this platform which is supposed to catch the ball, and if the ball falls, then the ball dies and you lose. Alright, I think uh, I think that's pretty good. Maybe we can make the outline a bit darker, give it like a better, better feel. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And after 45 minutes of connecting blocks together... Hey, wait a minute, that reminds me of something. I had finally finished Pong. You want an explanation on how I did it? Well, I don't really think you need an in-depth explanation on how any of this works. Uh, heck, I'm willing to bet you can easily read all of this and understand it. But in some simple terms, this resets the game. This makes the ball move and also makes sure that the game isn't over. And this moves the pong bar thingy. Um, I'm not sure of the terminology here. You can pause to read if you so wish. Look at that video's runtime. I can't just release a two minute video, that's kinda pointless. So I decided to create a second game. And my idea for this one was, you know when you don't have internet and you are also a filthy Google Chrome user? You get to play this little dinosaur game? Yeah, I decided to remake that. And it's actually really simple to make. You just give the player an illusion of moving by animating the character, then you just make the character jump whenever the space button is pressed, and then lastly you just detect if the cactus is off screen and then make it jump back to where it started. And that's really it. It's just an infinite game. So, is Scratch any good? Well, if you're either A, a child, or B, you don't know how to write letters, then yeah, I guess it's good. Although it would be a lot faster to just type the code out, because here I need to go to the category of the block I'm looking for, then I have to find the block, then I have to put the block into my workspace, and then most of the time I have to once again find the block I'm looking for and rinse and repeat. And with coding I just have to type it out, it's significantly faster. Well, that didn't exactly help with the runtime. I mean, I can't think of a way on how to make the runtime longer. Oh well. Comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my second channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.